So X and Y intercepts. X intercept is uh, C divided by A, so it's 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then the Y intercept would be negative right. 3. Very good. Same with the next one. The next one, X intercept, negative 21 divided by 7 is negative 3. And the Y intercept is uh, negative 7. Well, the thing about this. This uh, system of equations, uh, again, we're going to be doing this through elimination, is you need the x's or the y's to match, meaning you need the 5x uh, to match this x, but it's 12x, right? Or the 4y should match the 8y, but neither of them do. All right, so there may be some cases where you have to manipulate these just a little bit. So let's look at this one. Well, what we really want to do here is to make them the same. Okay, so let's look at the uh, 4y and 8y, negative 4y and positive 8y. Let's make them so that they are the same number, 8. We could make it 4 if you guys want. Would that be better? No, yes. negative 4. Well, let's just make it 4 to start out with, okay? Then, then we'll worry about positives or negatives. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire equation. Okay, we're going to make that a 4y. So how do I make an 8y a 4y? Divide by 2. Okay, yeah, you're going to divide everything by 2. Okay? Another way to show this is that you just divide by 2 everywhere. Cool. Okay, so now what you have, so let's, let's write that first one because it's necessary. 5x minus 4y equals 60. And what's the second equation now? 6x plus 4y equals 24, right? All right. Now that we've reached this point, let's look at our new system here. 5x minus 4y equals 60 and 6x plus 4y equals 24. Now that we have the absolute value of those, the coefficients of y there are the same, 4, you want them to have opposite signs. Well, let's look. That's a negative 4y, and that's a positive 4y. That's what we want when we're eliminating, okay? Because it's going, yeah, when we combine these two, we're going to get how many y's? Zero. 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 So let's do that, okay? So we're going to work our way down. That's a positive 6. It's a positive 24. What's 5x plus 6x right here? 11x. So that's 11x. And what's negative 4y plus 4y? Zero. Zero. So that's gone. All right. So we have this equals 84. Very good. So as it turns out, x equals 84 over 11. So we do want this as a fraction. Okay, but we still need to solve for the y value, all right? So if we were to look at this, we have only have half of our coordinate pair, 84 elevenths. Since we know x is 84 elevenths, we need to use either this top equation or the bottom equation and figure out the value of y. So which one do you guys want to use, top or bottom? Bottom. Bottom, bottom one? Fair enough. All right, so we've got uh, 12x plus 8y equals 48. Yeah, so you do need both values, but we have already found the value of x. Well, it's 84 elevenths, right? So we're going to rewrite this equation, 12. We're going to replace x with 84 elevenths which is kind of going to be a pain, but we have calculators to make it easier. 8y equals 48. Okay, so 12 times 84 elevenths would be some really large number. What I have here is uh, 1,008 elevenths plus 8y equals 48. <clears throat> Okay, so let's look, uh, we've got this, now all we have to do is solve, which is very easy. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we got this uh, 1,008 11 plus 8y equals 48. Okay, But the thing is, is what we really need is this 48 to have a common denominator of 11. So let's do 48 times 11 at 528. All right. 528. If you play the switch and stay game, or you subtract the 1008 over 11, whichever method you choose, what you're going to end up with is you're going to have that 8y, and you got that 48 minus 1008 over 11, find your common denominators, whatever. You're going to get negative 480 over 11. So all you're going to do is take that negative 480 over 11, divide by 8. That would give you negative 480 over 88, but simplify. What? No, because you could to check, but we already have the x value, so we're actually done. Okay. So this gave us, I have this as an improper fraction, negative 60 over 11. So as it turns out, our final answer would be this. 84 over 11, and negative 60 over 11. Done. It would be quite that easy, but uh, if we were to read this, if we were to read all this fun stuff here, uh, you'd probably fall asleep, but you'd have fun doing it, okay? So let's look at number one. So combine both the equations by addition. So let's look at number one here, all right? x plus 6y equals negative 16. Negative x plus 2y equals negative 8. All right, so again, we're going to use the elimination to do these. So let's draw a line there. We're going to combine these downward. So we have this x positive minus x, which is 0x. Zero zero x. So let's write that in there, phantom 0x. Well, then we've got 6y plus 2y, which is 8y equals negative 16 minus 8. Oh, see, that's so much easier, man. Just divide by the coefficient. So y is negative 3. Well, again, that's only half the problem. Now that we know that y is negative 3, let's solve for x. So let's look at our first equation. We've got x plus 6 times y, which is negative 3 equals negative 16. So if we solve this, then what is the value of x? Well, then you'd have x minus 18 equals negative 16. Why is it minus 18? Well, that's because the uh, 3 was negative. So it's 2? The 3 came from y equals negative 3. So is x 2? Uh, it looks like it is. So add 18, some of you would say add 18 to both sides, whatever. You got x is 2. Well, you do need to check this, okay? Let's check the other one. So in other words, we should have negative 2 plus 2 times y, which is negative 3. That should equal negative 8. Is that true? Yes, that is true, because here you've got negative 2 minus 6, which is negative 8. Done. We checked it. We're good. Write your answer as a coordinate pair. 2, negative 3. Christian will do number 2. <laughs> so you need to add these equations together. So for, so this is 6x. Then these cancel out each other equals the 16 plus 8, which is 24. And then you divide this by 6, and this by 6. So you get x equals 4, positive 4. And so you add that into the equation 4, 4, because that's the value of x plus 3y equals... 16 and so it's 16 plus 3y 
equals 16. And so then you need to play the switch and stay game. And so this is negative 16. And so 3y equals 0. And so y equals 0. And so then we have to plug it into the next solution. So it's 2, 2, 4, minus 3. Oh, darn it. Minus 3y equals 8. That's just 8 minus 3y equals 8. Again, play the switch and stay game. Negative 8, 0, negative 3y equals and y equals 0. And those two are the same. So x equals 4 and y equals 0. Excellent work. All right, now if you show your answer in this form, that's fine. Okay? But, uh... This is not a coordinate pair, right? Well, it's still a coordinate pair. You've just explicitly said that x is 4 and y is 0. So that's fine, okay? You're not going to lose any points if you do it like that. Again, if you wanted to write it as a coordinate pair, just be 4, 0. All right? All right, 3 is good. Once again, we're just going to combine these. So 2x plus x be 3 x's. Uh, y minus y is 0. So this should equal 4 plus 2 is 6. X equals 2. two. All right. Now that we know X equals 2, let's plug it into the top equation. So we have 2 times X, which is 2, plus Y equals 4. Well, what's 2 times 2? 4 plus Y. So switch and stay game. Very good. Y's on the left, numbers on the right. This 4 is going to switch to negative 4. Good. So the y equals 0. Done. Then if I wanted this to be a coordinate pair, I'd have 2, 0. But I should check this. So let's check. Do we have to check Yes. So I'm going to use this equation now. Well, I said x is 2, so I have 2 minus y, which we said is 0. Does that equal 2? Yeah. Yes, it does. We checked it. We're good. All right, Grant, we'll do number four. Do I have to talk or can I just do oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. So these cancel out. So then it's 7y equals 0. Divide by 7, y equals 0. And then 6 times 0 plus 2x equals 0, and then 0 plus 2x equals, and then it's just 2x equals 0, and then, excellent work, Rand. Thank you. You do get a gold star. So the thing is on this one, remember, whatever you're eliminating, they need to have opposite signs. So what would we eliminate here, the Y's or the X's? The X's. The X's. The problem is they don't have, the, they don't have opposite signs. So what are we going to do? Make them opposite by times like everything by negative 1. Very good. So we're going to just change the signs on, do you want to do it on the top or the bottom one? The bottom one. Bottom. bottom, okay. So we're going to make that x a negative. This minus is a plus, and that 3 negative is now going to be a positive 3. Now when we add or subtract these, we're going to eliminate the x's. So what's x minus x? Settle. Zero. Zero. 3y plus 2y? 5y. 5y. Equals 2 plus 3, 5. Y equals 1. So our coordinate pair, we've got the 1. Uh, very good. Now that we have that, let's do that top equation. We've got X plus 3 times Y, which is 1, equals 2. So X plus 3 equals 2. So again, you can use whatever method you want. X equals Negative one. Yes. 
We'll double check this by putting everything into that bottom equation. We've got a negative x, which is negative 1, plus 2 times y, which is 1, should equal positive 3. And we have this uh, 2 negative, so that's 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2. Does that equal 3? Yeah. It does. Checked. This is our answer. All right, so on this one, we need to eliminate, which one would we eliminate? The X. We would want to eliminate the X's. The problem is that they don't have opposite signs. So change the signs. Let's make that a negative X. That's plus now, and that's negative. Okay, what's X minus X? Zero. Four Y, that's a phantom one, plus one Y is five Y. 23 minus two? Good. Well, this is going to give us a fraction, which is fine. Y equals 21 divided by the coefficient is 5, 21 fifths. It is? Yep. So the Y is 21 fifths. Let's solve this other equation. Let's do the top one. We've got X plus 4 times Y, which is 21 fifths. Plus 4 times 21. Equals 23. So 4 times 21 fifths is 84 fifths. Yeah. How do you do that? X plus, I'm using a calculator. 84 fifths equals 23. Okay. But uh, you could use common denominators if you want there, then subtract, use the switch and stay game. Subtract 84 fifths on both sides, whatever you want to do. All right, so equals 31 fifths. All right, what I did was I took, because uh, we had x plus 23. Was so it minus 23? Right. 23 equals. If I subtract 84 fifths from both sides. You got x equals. See, because that, that makes this zero. So what you're left with is this x equals, and 23, If I, because I have to have common denominators. So I did 23 times 5, which is 115 fifths. Now I can subtract 84 fifths. We have common denominators of 5. 115 minus 84 should give you 31. 31 fifths. Well, this one's good. It wasn't as bad as that first one, right? Yeah. But it still had fractions. So you may want, you may consider knowing how to do these because you uh, probably have some of these on the homework. Uh, what? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got to do with this one is uh, it's, it's better if the, the terms are lined up, right? So that top one can stay the same. You've got x plus 3y equals 12. But see, this the problem is we, we're going to have to use the commutative property to put the x in front of this one. So what that would give you is x minus 3y equals 30. So all we did was use the commutative property of addition move the x, now we can just start adding, because if you'll notice, the three y's are the same and they have opposite signs. So, 1x plus 1x, 2x, 12 plus 30, 42, so x equals, anyone? Anyone? 12. 24. Oh, Bueller. <laughs> That's 24. 21. Oh, 4. Sight? 21. X is 21. We still have to find the value of Y. So let's use that top one. We've got 21 plus 3 times Y equals 12. Switch and stay game would give you 3Y equals negative 9. -er. So Y equals negative 3. So, as a coordinate pair, we've got 21, 3. Thank you, negative 3. That's correct. All right, so we could use replacement on this one if we wanted to, because it's y equals some kind of garbage. Uh, but, as it turns out, we don't have to. 
because we want to use elimination. So let's manipulate this. What we're going to do is move this x over here. The problem is, is it's moving across an equal sign, so we've got to change its sign. So it would be negative x, that's a positive y, equals negative 9-er. This other equation, it's x plus 8y equals 0. So we have negative x plus x, which is 0. 1y plus 8y. 9y, this should equal negative 9 plus 0, negative 9-er, so y equals negative 1. Now that we know that y is negative 1, let's look at this first equation. You've got negative 1, because that's y, equals x minus 9. So what minus 9 is negative 1? 8. 8, 8 is, so x equals 8. Well, we should check this on that second one. So x is 8, so we've got 8 plus 8 times negative 1, which is y, should equal 0. Is this true? 8 plus 8 times negative 1, so that would be 8 minus 8 is 0. That's true. Checked. Our answer is 8 negative 1. Do you guys have any questions? If you guys look at this, is there any of the two variables that are going to be easy to eliminate? There is. There is not. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to multiply one of the equations by something so that they match, and then you can eliminate. Yep, let's do that. So we're going to multiply this entire thing by 4, so 4 times 2x is 8x, minus 4 times y is 4y equals 4 times 3 is 12. That top equation stayed the same, it's 3x minus 4y equals 7. Well, they still don't have opposite signs, so let's change those signs, this 8 is now negative. It's a positive or plus 4y, and that's a negative 12. So 3x minus 8x is negative 5x. Negative 4y plus 4y is 0y. 7 minus 12 is negative 5. So x is 1. That's a good save. Now that we know x is 1, let's solve for y, so we take this top equation, 3 times x, which is 1, minus 4y equals 7. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 4y equals 7, switch and stay game. Why do they always usually equal y? Well, because one's easy. This one, however, is y equals negative 1 which is so much more different, okay? So our point here is 1, negative 1, bam, done. Hey, that rhymed. Well, we should check this, though. So 2 times x, which is 1, is 2 minus y is negative 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. That's correct. Checked. The thing we need to figure out on this one is do we want to eliminate the y's or the x's first? We want to eliminate the x's. Okay, so what we have to do is multiply these until they are the same. Okay, so we have to multiply both the top and the bottom one. Can we times it by negative numbers so we could... Yes, if you want to skip that step, yes. So this one, I'm just going to multiply by the coefficient of x on that bottom equation, which is 3. The bottom equation, I'm going to multiply by the coefficient of the x up here, which is 2. Okay, after I distribute these, that top equation gives me 6x minus 9y equals 0. The bottom one, I'll distribute the 2. 2 times 3x is 6x minus 2 times 2y is 4y equals 2 times 5 is 10. Well, the problem here is that uh, the x's have the same sign. So we'll just change this to minus plus and negative. 
So 6x minus 6x is 0. Negative 9y plus 4y is negative 5. Y equals negative 10. So y equals 2. All right, so y equals 2. So let's look at the top equation. We've got 2x minus 3 times 2 equals 0. So 2x minus 6 equals 0. So 2x equals 6. x equals 3. Yeah, I did it right. All right, let's replace these. So 3 times x is 3, minus 2 times y, which is 2. So 3 times 3 is 9, -er, minus 2 times 2 is 4, does equal 5. We checked it, it's good.